Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I heard back from the dealer and they have sent me the fender and the breakaway switch replacement. So today we're going to replace those two items and we're also going to open up the breakaway switch to see what the problem was. Stick around, here we go. All right, so this is the uh, fender install. Um, just want to thank you know the dealership for finally sending this fender. It took me about three to four months to keep nagging them um, for them to send me this fender. You know, I think you know this is a 2021 trailer. Um, yeah, and if you didn't see the previous video, it was caused from the tire blowout. The uh, Uninstall and installation of the fender was pretty simple. That's why I sped this video up pretty fast. Um, it was probably like 10 bolts. You just gotta take the bolts out and then just put the new bolts in. Uh, on the new fender, there is no holes. There's just like little plastic pieces that you gotta break the break the seal, and then just screws right into the side of the camper. Pretty easy to install. Like I said, it's about 10 bolts. They're like self-tapping screws, so. Just takes a few minutes and a uh, you know uh, drill to do it. Okay, so this next part is the uninstall of the breakaway switch. Uh, this part's pretty simple. Uh, I forgot what size bolt it was, but it was just a self-tapping bolt that was holding the breakaway switch in. Um, so here's me just removing it. Pretty simple to remove. And once it's removed, you want to cut these wires, but you also want to be very careful is one of these wires is still hot unless you disconnect it. I just left it, um, left it hot, left it plugged in. And this is the rewiring of those connectors. So uh, you'll see me strip these old wires and just remember, again, these wires are, one of the wires is still hot. Um, You'll see me use the, well actually I touch them together, I'm seeing, just to make sure there's no wiring issues anywhere else. I was listening for the brakes to make noises, which you can kind of hear them make clicking noises, making sure they activate. Um, then I use my multimeter to find out which wire is the hot one and which one is the, uh, to the signal to the brakes. So the one on the right is the hot wire, my left wire is the signal wire. And then I switch it over to continuity mode to see if there's continuity on that wire. Just to make sure there's no open shorts, uh, which appears it was working fine. That could be a problem. Okay, and then, so you saw, I checked the continuity. It looked like everything was working fine. I tested it with the setup way to make sure there was a connection in between there, which there was. And then just put those blue little heat shrink wraps on there. Uh, then I uh, just twist the wires. Used a uh, butt connector, which is pretty simple. Um, and you'll see, I think this first butt connector fails. I'm pretty bad at crimping wires. So you always want to make sure you do a little tug test just to make sure they're not going to find part which one that one did. So 
cut it, restrip it, try again. And then I'm just using my uh, torch here to uh, heat the shrink wrap, which I know I should be using a heat gun, but I don't have a heat gun yet. That's on my Amazon shopping list. So. Same thing for this other wire, just crimp it, and you see that butt connector also failed because I suck at crimping. And also, the brakes were activated because the plunger wasn't in there, so I stuck that in there real fast. Alright, and then the last thing I did was just use a lot of electrical tape around this connection just to make sure that it's a watertight connection. Uh, this is a very important connection because this is uh, what activates if you lose your trailer, so I just made sure it was a very good and very uh, watertight connection, so I used lots of electrical tape. Okay, then the last section of this video is just going to be me uh, reinstalling the breakaway switch. Just exactly the same way it came out. I used the same self-tapping bolt that was there before. Um, and then just uh, tucked up those wires. Make sure those wires were not going to get pinched in any way. Um, so I was very careful about where that bolt went in, where the wires were at, and making sure they didn't get pinched. And then I just used some zip ties to make sure all the wires were secure and not loose. So then I took the old breakaway switch into the garage and just one last time checked for polarity on those just to see if it would start working. Um, but it didn't. So I decided to take some uh, screwdrivers and pry this thing open.
this little box was very hard to get open. It took me probably 10 minutes to get it open. Uh, it's very uh, solidly glued together or something, but eventually I was able to get it to break open and was able to see what the problem was. Uh, unfortunately, my battery on my camera died, so I had to switch to my phone. So as you can see, it looks like that top terminal was defective. Um, I don't know if it was missing a spring or something, but I'm going to send this to the manufacturer. So hopefully they can give me some input on what the problem with this box was. So hopefully you liked the video. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Let me know if your breakaway switch works. Um, show me on your camper if you pull it, did your brakes activate. Hopefully yours works just fine, but ours didn't. And this was brand new from the manufacturer. This is on a 2021 trailer that we got six months ago. But thankfully, they sent us a new one and we got it fixed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.